Hey neighbors, so I am back into questioning the game because I finally have a full to reveal. I have not even seen it yet. All I did today in the game was my um, daily check-in to get my item, which today was a carrot and I think yesterday was as well. <laughs> Yay. So I don't have enough carrots. <laughs> okay, so now will you all... I'll show it the full I mean. Oh, I love the code, honestly. Oh, and it's a filly! I can call her a brownie. Oh, now. So I want to see her stats. Where is she? And just to show... Oh, well, well, here's her stats. Watch, it's actually very high. 495, and she came for me. Uh, 200 something. Hold on. I think I can. Also, oh, she's half Swedish and half Frisian now. Yeah, so she came from a 679 potential Swedish warm blood and a 279 potential Frisian. 495 is honestly not bad. I was thinking lower. She is hot though, unfortunately. Um, what else? Don't like that at all. Um, I'm t honestly, I'm not even sure if I will keep her. And maybe I'll just try again, honestly. I believe she's in breeding. Yes, I. I don't think I showed you guys, so I did buy another mare. And this, oh whoops, this is her. And I did breed her with my Frisian stallion, and we still have 19 hours to wait, unfortunately. Oh well. Um, let's see. 3 p.m. now. Oh, is it, so 24. Okay, so some. So um. I'll still be out. Yeah, so I'll still be at work, unfortunately. So I'm just trying to think when I can reveal the full. So sometime tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully, when I'm home from work, I can. But I'm not sure because of school work. I will show the mom of Brownie real fast. I love. I'm, I just love that code. I'm gonna keep her though, just because. Actually, speaking of that, because I just, I love that coat. I'm gonna breathe her again. <laughs> oh, whoops. She can't. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I have to wait. I forgot I have to wait. Wow. A day? Damn. Okay. I mean, I have been. Wow. I have been training Stormy, though. Um, I guess why not do a show? Hold on, give me one second. I had to kick my cat off the laptop. Anyways. Oh, and the nature I'm going for a full is balanced, but I did that Palomino mare. Um, she is balanced, so hopefully we'll get a balanced full. So I'm just watching my cat see what other mischief she's gonna come into next. Yeah, I remember. I did some mentality training on him.
That was beautiful. I guess just for the fun of it, I'm going to write my new full brownie. See how well she handles. Honestly, very gorgeous though. Sorry about that. Where? Oh, there we go. Okay. Trying to find the bridge. I think I just passed it though. Oh, there it is. Cool. Hold on, I'm just going to do something real fast. I just want to listen to it rain. Okay, so I just wanted some um, sounds on what it would sound like with just without the music. Honestly, it sounds beautiful. As well as me not talking. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I will keep her. I mean, she's not that bad. I can just give her some feed to calm her down. What do you guys think? Comment below, should I keep Brownie or not? And um, should I rename her to something else? I just thought of Brownie off the bat. But if I keep her, I will rename her to something else. Maybe um, Echo, because, I mean, although he was a stallion, they honestly look similar. Like, coat-wise. And she reminds me of him. Because he's also what I call an easy horse, where you just barely tap them and they go. But he didn't go like he didn't like jump or anything he was just um i don't know how how you say it however you say like a horse when you just barely um take them to go like and when they go like i don't know how do i don't know how to explain it hold on let me stop training for a second try to think okay so it's not like he would jump forward or anything like that he would just he was like all ready to go he wouldn't like because there's this other horse maybe this will help to compare so he would kind of he had a more easygoing nature and he would kind of drag his hooves if you wanted him to go he was kind of like a sorry my cat just approached me randomly He's one of the more calmer horses. Also, he doesn't spook as easily at all. Like, um, she actually took him to some events so that he, little kids could even take pictures with him because he was just grazing and you put a little kid on him, he was totally fine. Like, he did not care. But Echo, he was, um, I just, you do a little tap and he goes right off the bat, but he wasn't too energetic about it, if that makes sense. He didn't, like, jump forward like he got spooked or something. I don't know how to say it. Like I just say like an easy going type of... I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm trying to find the words but I can't. Like more... Like he was kind of more light footed. Echo was. He was a lot easier to um... He was a lot more... Um... Alert to like the controls and stuff. Then, um, the other horse I was talking about, Ran Rambo, I believe his name was. And they were two totally different breeds, you could tell. 
But yeah, um, this is what a hot spirited horse reminds me of. And Brownie. She actually reminds me a lot of Echo. I can't believe I actually remember that. That was. Man. 15 plus years ago. And 15 years ago. Yeah, anyways. Just let me know should I keep Brownie or sell her? Should I buy a different mare or stallion? What do you guys think I should do? Comment below this video. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here though with this beautiful shot of her gates. Then she's going to cancer soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.